Hello everyone, you are watching Sahib Academy. If you like our videos, then please subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell icon for the regular updates and also follow us on Instagram, Sahib Academy. Now let's go to the video. Hi everyone, this is the fifth video of Higher Purchase System and in the previous four videos, we have seen the concept, the journal entries as well as we have solved two problems of Higher Purchase System which were based upon the first and the second scenario. Now, in this video, we are going to solve this simple problem of higher purchase system, which is based upon the third scenario, which is based upon the third scenario when rate of interest is not given. All right, when rate of interest is not given. And we have already seen these two scenarios, right? We have seen in the previous videos. Now, let's get into the question and see how to find the interest. See, here it is said, draft limited purchased a plant for rupees 50,000. Now, this company has purchased a plant, okay, plant and machinery. So, it has purchased a plant under higher purchase system for rupees 50,000. Now, this is what? This is higher purchase price, all right? This is higher purchase price and makes a payment as under. Now, the sequence of payment is given, that is installments. The first is down payment of 10,000 and then first installment of 20,000. That means at the end of the first year, all right? Here, they have not given us the years, but we will assume it this is the end of the first year. So, 20,000 and the second year, 10,000 second installment and then and balance is to be paid on last installment. Now, they have not given us the third installment. We have to calculate. See, we can easily calculate. Now, we have the higher purchase price, right? What is higher purchase price? Higher purchase price is the total of the installment column, right? So, deduct all these amounts from this 50,000. 50,000 minus 10,000, then 40,000 is outstanding, right? Then minus 20,000, how much is outstanding? 20,000 is outstanding. And then subtract this 10,000, then 10,000 is outstanding. So, that 10,000 outstanding balance will be paid in the last installment. So, here, the third installment would be 10,000, all right? We'll see this later, okay? Don't worry. Then they have said cash price of the plant is 43,000 rupees. So here, cash price is also given. So you don't have to calculate the cash price. Cash price is given. Then calculate the interest paid each year. See, there is no rate of interest. The rate of interest is not given. That is why this question is from the third scenario, all right? When rate of interest is not given. Now let's solve this problem and see how to calculate the interest. Now, before solving the problem, let's just recall the difference between higher purchase price and cash price. Now, to understand the difference between these two prices, let's take help of this small example. Let's say there was a person who wanted to buy a cell phone. So, he went to a shop and asked the seller. Now, the seller gave him two options. The seller told him either purchase this cell phone on cash basis. That means pay the amount full now on the spot. So, you would have to pay 60,000 rupees. Okay, you have to pay 60,000 rupees if you are purchasing it on cash basis. And he also gave him another option. The seller also gave him another option that is purchase under higher purchase system, purchase under HPS. And if you are purchasing under HPS, then you will have to pay 72,000 rupees. What is higher purchase system? Paying in installments, right? Paying later in installments. So if you are purchasing in higher purchase system, then you will have to pay 72,000 rupees in total. So you see, the same cell phone, if you are purchasing it on cash basis, it is costing 60,000 rupees. But if you are purchasing it on higher purchase system, then it is costing 72,000 rupees. Why? Why there is increase over here? That is because here, this is higher purchase price. Here, there is interest included because the payment is done later on in installments. So here there will be interest. So higher purchase price includes interest and cash price doesn't include interest. Cash price is cash price. It doesn't include interest. It is 60,000 over here because you are paying it on the spot. But here you are paying later on. So here there will be interest. So this is higher purchase price. That's the difference between higher purchase price and the cash price. The difference between these two is of interest all right so that's the difference between higher purchase price and cash price now let's solve this problem now let's solve this problem first we have to prepare this table for the calculation of interest and in this problem the rate of interest is not given that's the main focus of this problem the rate of interest is not given so we have to calculate the interest without the rate so we have to make use of ratios to calculate the interest all right we will see 
and in this table we can see two new column that are outstanding higher purchase price column and ratio column we will come to these columns all right first let's start see here is the year column 0 1 2 and 3 i have just assumed this okay here the years were not given so i have taken the down payment day as 0 and then at the end of the first year at the end of the second year and at the end of the third year now in the question they said this raf limited purchase the plant at 50000 higher purchase price 50000 higher purchase price now this 50000 includes interest okay this is higher purchase price so 50000 all right at 50000 they purchase the machine that plant and machinery and they made a down payment of 10000 okay and then installment first installment is of 20000 and the second installment is of 10000 but the third installment is not given they have said whatever balance is left that balance will be paid in the third installment now we have to calculate the balance see how to calculate the balance we have to take the higher purchase price the amount at which they purchase the plant and machinery we then we have to subtract all the payments given see the first payment is down payment so minus 10,000 so you get 40,000 now 40,000 is outstanding and then 20,000 was paid in the first installment so minus 20,000 you get again 20,000 and then subtract this 10,000 okay minus 10,000 and then you get again 10,000 so now 10,000 is the balance so the third installment would be of 10,000 right see 10,000 plus 20,000 30,000 30,000 plus this 10,000 40,000 and plus this 10,000 it is equal to 50,000 so the entire amount is equal right so 10,000 is the balance so I have already taken over here the installments and the total of the installment that is the higher purchase price is 50,000 now these amounts are given in the question all right I have not calculated anything over here I have just calculated the balance all right so this is higher purchase price now now we have to see what else is given in the question now in the question they have also given us the cash price now they have given us the cash price as 43,000 they have given it as 43,000 now what is interest tell me what is interest now I told you interest is the difference between higher purchase price and cash price right the difference between higher purchase price and cash price is that in cash price there is no interest and in higher purchase there is interest so we can easily calculate the interest the total interest okay the total interest see now what is the higher purchase price given in the question 50,000 yes 50,000 is the total higher purchase price minus the cash price the cash price is 43,000 it is given in the question so minus 43,000 you get how much see 50 minus 43 it is equal to 7000 so it is equal to 7000 now we have got the total interest we have got the total interest you see so in interest total you have to write directly write directly you have to write 7000 all right now we know the total interest we calculated it we subtracted the higher purchase price with the cash price and we got the interest total interest all right and then we have to do this outstanding higher purchase price see how to do this now first what happened the higher purchase price is 50,000 right 50,000 was outstanding at the beginning then while signing the contract you paid 10,000 so subtract 10,000 subtract 10,000 now if you subtract 10,000 then how much is outstanding how much is outstanding the outstanding is 40,000 isn't it if you paid 10,000 then outstanding is 40,000 so outstanding is 40,000 and then you paid 20,000 yeah 20,000 so if you pay 20,000 then how much is outstanding the outstanding is 20,000 yes and then you pay 10,000 so subtract that then how much is outstanding here 20,000 is outstanding and then if you pay 10,000 then outstanding is 10,000 then at last it will become nil okay so here 10,000 is outstanding and then again 10,000 was paid and then it became nil so now we have got three outstanding amounts now we have to form the ratio on these outstanding amounts all right on these outstanding amounts we have to find the ratio see it's very simple to calculate the ratios see now we have 40,000, 20,000 and 10,000, right? 40, 20 and 10,000. These are the outstanding amounts. At the beginning, there will not be any interest, right? 
this is down payment so here there will not be any ratio and there will not be any interest because this is down payment here no time has been passed so there would not be any sort of interest but here there are interest right in these installments there are interest so we have to calculate that interest see how to calculate first we have to find out the ratios the ratios of these amounts see 40,000 20,000 and 10,000 cancel out all the zeros then you will get 4 is 2 2 is to 1 this is how you calculate the ratio okay 40,000 20,000 10,000 four four zeros have been have been cancelled so you get 4 is to 2 is to 1 so 40,000 4 is to 2 is to 1 all right I have taken the ratios of these outstanding amounts 50,000 minus 10,000 10,000 paid 40,000 you got outstanding and then you pay 20,000 and then 20,000 was outstanding and then you pay 10,000 10,000 was outstanding and then this became nil leave that okay so we got the ratio now what's the total ratio total ratio is 7 right total ratio is 7 now let's calculate the interest now we have the total interest we have the total interest but the main challenge is we should know how much interest is there in each of these installment that we don't know we don't know how much interest is there in each of these installments so we have to calculate that see how to calculate we have to take this 7000 and then we have to calculate with the help of ratios see i will take 7000 here and then what is the ratio here 4 right so into 4 by 7 why 7 because total is 7 so 4 plus 2 plus 1 is 7 right 4 plus 2 is 6 6 plus 1 is 7 so 4 by 7 so it is equal to let's calculate 7000 yeah 7000 into 4 divided by 7 that is equal to 4000 so the interest interest in the first installment in this 20,000 is 4,000 and then the same way we have to calculate the interest of the second year that is 10,000 here so 4 by 7 but we will use this 7,000 only okay because we have the total interest and the ratio so we will divide this interest in these installments so 7,000 into here it is 2 by 7 sorry 2 by 7 okay 2 by 7 so it is equal to let's calculate 7000 into 2 divided by 7 that is equal to 2000 so the interest is 2000 in the second installment it is very simple right i know it is very simple there's nothing here and then in the third installment we have to see third ratio is 1 so 7000 into 1 divided by 7 so let's calculate 7000 into 1 divided by 7 that is equal to 1000 so the interest is 1000 see this is how you have to calculate the interest we have the total interest and then we have the ratios we have to make use of these ratios to calculate how much interest is there in each of these installment okay with the help of ratios easily we can calculate okay this is how you have to calculate the interest without the rate rate was not given in the question right rate was not given so you calculated the interest without the rate so simple right first we took the installments and then we got this higher purchase price so it was given in the question the higher purchase price was given in the question but we know the total of installment column is higher purchase price and then we subtracted it with the cash price we got the total interest higher purchase price minus cash price we got the total interest and then we took the total interest in here okay and then we found out the outstanding high purchase prices right 40,000 and 20,000 and 10,000 and then we made ratio of these prices 4 to 1 and then we use these ratios to calculate how much interest is there in each of these installment by 7,000 7,000 7,000 into the ratios okay so this is how you do the calculation of interest simple right okay